some advices how to start with the group. First, and it's in my opinion also most important thing, is that you have to create safe atmosphere. Um, one thing w which might be good in the beginning is to make the rules together with the group. So it makes participants to commit into the group. They, they have a saying what is allowed and what is not allowed in the group. What can we do, what we cannot do. How do we act towards each other so it gives safety and it also gives commitment. Then you can start with exercises which make participants to get to know each other and also gives you a chance to get to know all these participants. And I suggest that if you don't have experience, you should start easy exercises. For instance, walking in the nature. It's a good thing because walking in the nature is relaxing and uh, while you are walking it's easy to talk. And if you don't, want, if you want to be silent, it's, you can do that also. Then uh, remember that, um, that you will have small steps, little by little, if you don't know the group beforehand and the participants and their personalities. You have to have open eyes and you have to have open mind and see here and listen carefully what is happening in the group, what is the atmosphere. How do they get along in the group? And so on. Then about the group act. Activities. I suggest that you listen to the ideas from the group and be ready to change your own plan. Um, observe the sessions and give space to everybody. There are always some silent invisible ones and you might have to find play some kind of new ways to encourage them to take a more active role. But of course, if you decide that everybody can be as they are, then they can, they can be silent. Um, and as a, as a leader, you have to be really present in the situations and you have to really be interested in the participants. Because if you are faking it, people understand it that it shows. You really have to be there. Don't think you're... Uh, dinner recipes or what to get from the shop or, or the next day or the next happening. Be there. Be really present. Be available for the group members. Then um, keep in mind that there are no wrong ways or no right ways to do things, just different ways. Uh, as long as anybody doesn't get hurt. So the sa safety is in, in the front line, but let all the flowers blossom there. Keep emphasis on the strengths. It's important. If you, if you are starting to be negative and you don't, because of that, get along, then you have to think about it. Maybe try to change your atti attitude or then change the leader of the group. And then about uh, many times people ask what are the good, uh, give some kind of list of the good methods. But there are lots of books, lots of toolkits, lots of web pages which are available in all the languages. You have to always remember that you are working with your personality. Not necessarily all the tools and methods are, are useful for you. It depends on your personality and your own interests. And then I suggest that if you have a chance, then uh, go to the groups which have experienced group leader and to get experience for yourself about leading. You can be as a peer 
leader or then you can be as a participant. But just to get some kind of um, supervision for how to lead these group activities. It makes you more confident. start with the exercises and activities which you know best and it's easier to it's easier to start from your comfort zone if you feel comfortable participants feel also comfortable in the beginning especially plan the sessions make plan a and in case make plan b and so on plan c even because uh, if the if the plan A doesn't work, you ha you have to be flexible and you have to be ready to change the plan. When you have been doing doing these exercises and using these methods for longer period, you don't have to plan so so um, precisely. So catch the moment and then then improvise. All ex exercises don't fit in all the phases of group, group development process. That's why you have to have open, open eyes and open ears, and you have to listen to the group. So then it goes well. Uh, then uh, role of the leader. There are different different options. You can you can be leader. You you can be supervisor who makes things possible to happen. You can stay somehow background, but you have, you have the strings on your hands and you are leading, leading these uh, exercises, but you are somehow on the background. You are not active participator. Or you can decide also to be active participator, to, to pay, take part on all these activities you are, and exercises you are doing. It depends on the of the group and it, it depends on the aims while you are working. But decide it beforehand. What what can what kind of role do you take while leading the group? Then is one leader enough or not? Sometimes when there is there are challenges and you know you don't exactly know the group well. I suggest that you should have a peer leader there, so you can you can share the roles and you can you can share the workload, and it's easier then to observe and be uh, be aware while sharing the duties. Then you can be aware more easily what is happening in the group itself. Because sometimes these creative methods they can they can make people to feel strong feelings. They have, they might have some crises in the background, and something in these methods may wake them up, and there can come some kind of crises, or then some some arguing between the group members. So think beforehand what you will do. If a conflict occurs, then the uh, most important thing is that you have to be yourself. If you are waiting that uh, those participants should be themselves as they are as persons, so should you. And use your personality because it's a, I think it's the best tool you have. And you, al you already have it, you don't have to train it from anywhere. You don't have to go to school to use your personality. Don't be afraid of failures or some so that something goes wrong. That's how you learn. You don't have to be perfect and the situation doesn't have to be perfect. When you make some mistakes, then you will learn and you will remember them.
you can even give applause while you are when you are doing some failures or you are doing some mistakes then you can ask the group make applause i hope that uh, you will have a courage to try these creative methods you don't have to have be professional and you don't have to use them as a therapy they are method to work with people who are coming into your activities and the good thing is that when they are coming they are also already interested in 